Alrighty, welcome to another Let's Play, another game I'm going to be playing on the channel. I'm Rosal Vane, uh, and today we're going to be playing Eliza, or Lisa. Um, I'm going to call it Eliza from here, um, because that's how I usually see the name as, but if, if uh, the developers of some sort ends up saying it's Eliza instead of Eliza, um, or Eliza over Eliza, um, so be it. But I'm going to call it El Eliza for, for the most part of it. Um, this is a game that I technically had for a while, I think since the Humble Monthly choice, Humble Choice, uh, back in November 2020, I think it was, either, uh, it was 2020 or 2021, I can't remember, but basically that was when I got this game. Uh, this game kind of, I, I kind of wanted to dive into more narrative-based games, like after finishing up the Silver Case and 25th Ward, um, 25th Ward, the Silver Case, I wanted. To, I had a little itch to find some more narrative-based games. There are a few I have under, sort of under the hood, sort of thing in Steam, but I just haven't gone around thinking about when I want to get to them yet. But otherwise, Eliza, Eliza was one of them, and uh, it was. It, it's a much shorter adventure or shorter uh, story than the other ones that I have in mind. Um, keep in mind that those games will be coming up eventually, but they will be a little bit after this one, of course, because I want to try to do shorter ones first and then go for the longer ones or the. Uh, bigger ones because I feel like they might take longer or they might become a little bit difficult for me to kind of jump onto quickly. But anyways, I'm excited to try this out. I do want to, uh, again, want to jump into more narrative-based games. Um, and this was one of them on my list that I wanted to try out. I, I mean, I'm trying, I want to try some indie games at the same time. Like, I've been trying out, like, other games. Like, Donut County was really great. Um, what else was it? Mirror's Edge was a shorter one, but that's not an indie game. <laughs> that is not one. There was one that I did. I forget what it was called. Shoot, I do apologize. The Coma yeah, Recut was another one that I tried out that I felt was enjoyable at the very least. But yeah, let's get into this one. Um, I don't know how far we're going to get into it. I don't know. I already kept the music down, I think. Yeah, I kept the music down a lot more. You don't see the cursor because that's because the game capture doesn't allow for it, I guess. Um, I'm actually curious. Oh, the software. <laughs> that's amazing. You know what? I'll keep it with the software and that'll be the case. 2K... I can't really control this, apparently. Uh, that's only if I go into Windows side, I'm guessing. Win Windows sizes, I guess. Languages is English. They support all these languages, if you're curious. Uh, Auto Advance, I do not know what this is. I'm guessing it's like, if they wanna, if you wanna click to speed up or something, or auto do, auto run the, the speech stuff. Anyways, let's get into it. The game will save automatically. Uh, you can pick up where you left off by selecting continue on the main menu. Got it. Cool. But I'm excited. Um, looking for the main menu, it looks like it's taking place in Seattle, chapter one. Um, which I, I had a dream this morning, but I can't remember what it was. It all vanished when the alarm went off. First time that's happened in a while. I've been drifting away inside my own world for too long. It's time for me to wake up. So far, the voice acting is great. Oh, this it. This looks exactly like the tra train station, the train in Seattle or, or Washington State. I actually have used the the train a lot, the metro train a lot uh, in Washington State, and it looks almost identical as this one. I think the only difference I think was the crowd, maybe. Like, there's usually a lot more people in, on train, but I guess it depends on what time of day it is. What are you supposed to do on the light rail? Use the phone. Use your phone, I guess, or look around. Oh, okay. Um, I see. So you can select two of them right here. Oh wow! They actually replicated the sound of the light rail as well. <laughs> this is amazing already. All right. Uh, you will do it. I believe in you. Okay. How do I how do I go back? Oh there it is. I wasn't sure if this thing was in here or in out here. This kinda I'm a little bit iffy about this one. As a UI designer, uh, I would say like at least keep this inside the phone. This would have made things a little bit more cohesive or apparent to like how you would work on a phone. Like Android and iPhones usually have it at the bottom of the screen and that's not hard to UI design into, but yeah. This is a little nitpicky thing for me. Dear Evelyn, Ishino Albert. Congratulations! You are you're taking your first steps on an exciting and rewarding career with the Skanda, Skanda, yeah, Skanda family. Please show up promptly to your orientation meeting at 9 a.m. Friday, January 3rd. Ishino, Aubrey, Evelyn, 
proxy level one, conti contingent staff, capstone, Eliza Counseling Center, Queen Anne, Seattle, Washington. We are looking forward to working with you. Hmm. Okay, so somebody is a contractor. I am also a contractor at for games. Avalon Fitness. You know what's funny? Yeah, I mean, it's not really like a huge secret or anything, but like in general, yeah, there, there is a company, a, an apartment company named Avalon, so it's interesting to see that Avalon is being used as a naming for the part, and it's fitness instead. It's really interesting. Was it something we said? Evelyn, we've noticed you haven't checked into your cu customized personal training plan at Avalon Fitness in the last 971 days. Huh. We get it. Life doesn't always move in a straight line. That's why we're offering a special 25-point bonus <laughs> to your Avalon Prestige if you check in again within the next two weeks. There's never been a good time to get your health back on track. Avalon Fitness Strength qual Quantified. I don't know what these points would value anyways. Like, what's the value of those points, personally? As a, let's see, proxy is what? Messenger app, I guess? Zip chat? Probably a quick chat, instant chat thing. I don't need to play this again, I should delete it. It is interesting that the phone apps are laid out like this, but... I might look at this later when I want to relax. That looks like Bejewel, but it's Bejokes. <laughs> Bejukes. This was fun, but I think I'm done with it now. The gym already nags me about not working out. I don't need more any more of that. I'll give this game another try soon. Not right now, though. Oh, this is Many Zenny, I think. Yeah, I didn't realize the wordings of the title of the game is on the, the coin icon. I don't know what this is, but I can see that it's something like royal something. I don't know. I, I mean, this is just probably either Chinese or kanji from Japan, or J Japanese kanji. It could be either one. But I'm thinking it's kanji because the lantern, the lantern is reminiscent of Japanese uh, lanterns to some degree. And then, of course, it's Chinese right here, I think, or Japanese here. All right, let's exit this phone. Oh, I can look at people out here? Ooh. Is she sleeping? I hope she doesn't miss her stop. Must be con commuting to work. Maybe it's her first day at the at a new job too. Seems unlikely. It's funny because I also do this kind of thing too, where I sometimes like I don't stare at people, but I like I look at the person I'll, like from like a little glance, and I'll be like, I wonder what they're what what they're going through, or what they're what's up with them, and like I listen in on conversations here and there when I'm listening to music, so it's interesting. I forgot how difficult getting around the city can be sometimes. It's funny because light rail is almost it's almost perfect transportation for getting around all of the important places of Washington State. In terms of like the west side of the state, I don't know about the east side. I don't think there was a lot to it. Uh, not because it's not because it's bad, but it's because there's not a lot of people moving out towards those parts of the state. But then again, I'm pretty sure this towns and cities out there on the uh, on the west on the right on the east side but i'm not too familiar with the east coast part or the east part of the western uh of the washington state itself but anyways let's continue yeah i really appreciate the whole of washington state due to the weather and all the all the stuff i do miss it i like california's heat though and i like Washington's coldness so it's like it's hard to choose which one is better <laughs> in terms of temperature and weather but but California has been kind of weird honestly with the weather system so it's like ugh. Eliza powered by Skanda it's so strange to see it like this how so oh is this me this character's me I guess okay what should I do be doing here should I check in at the front desk wait that's the woman I met at the orientation meeting last week Hi, you're Evelyn, right? You remember me? That's impressive. There were a lot of people at that orientation. Of course. I've done this for a while now, so I'm pretty good at putting names to faces. People always say they're bad at it, but it's a skill you can practice just like any other. In case you forgot, though, I'm Ray. Come to me with all your questions, comments, complaints, whatever. 
And if you look around and can't find me, I'm probably at one of the other two counseling centers I'm running right now. So you can count on me being back soon. Three centers? Sounds like a lot of work. Oh, it is a lot of work. This is kind of a temporary thing. We're growing fast and hiring is one of our big challenges. That means there's decent opportunity for advancement here, if that's something you're looking to do. I say that it... <sighs> yeah, I don't know Evelyn's goals right now, so it's the choices are hard to make. We only know Evelyn based on her phone apps and how she thinks, but not on what her past history is. So that's the trickier part, I think, about this game so far. Also, I'm blocking the uh, the three-lined menu here. There's a menu thing here in the in the back of the the back of my face cam, so you can't see it me clicking on it. So I do apologize if you don't see that. At least we're not blocking the UI for dialogue and choices so far. But if it does, if I do end up blocking something, I'll move my camera somewhere else. Um, I'd say interesting. Dot dot dot. That's interesting. That's my sort of eh, but also maybe my character wants that. I don't know. Shall we start <laughs> with a quick tour of the office? Sure. Ray starts with the tastefully appointed lobby. There are a few people already waiting for their counseling sessions to to start. I'm thinking we're playing as a psychologist or therapist. Yeah, I, so I also want to preface, I have no idea what I'm walking into. I, I forgot to mention this. I have no clue beyond just what I saw on the menu or on the, the Steam page a little bit. But I only know it's a narrative-based game. That's it. Like, that's all I know. I don't know Evelyn as a character. I don't know what's her background. I don't know anything. I have not seen a Let's Play at all. So it's just blind, complete blindness. Also, I want to appreciate the fact that they also use these kind of lamps in Washington State a lot. Uh, but I think it's because it's a style that works, I guess. I don't I don't have a clue. Like, I've seen this a lot in the restaurants that I go to um, that have sort of like the homely feel, I guess. The feel of homeness, hominess. All right. You could say the Queen Anne office is Eliza's flagship location. It has 12 individual counseling rooms. Currently, we're up to seeing almost 100 clients a day here. So the lady did say Eliza, so I am pronouncing it right. A okay. hundred a day? That's so many. The growth trend isn't stopping either. Mm. Demand for Eliza keeps exceeding our expectations, especially here in Seattle, for whatever reason. We're already looking at adding more capacity here. Either that or opening another location close by. Personally, I think having a single office with 24 counseling rooms might seem a little unfriendly, so I hope we go for a second location. I like to think of Eliza centers like cafes or coffee shops. A few small ones is better than one big one. Makes sense. <laughs> I love how there's a makes sense option I just said makes sense. Makes sense. <laughs> I love how I just knew what I wanted to say. Makes sense. Whenever that ga whenever games catch me in where I want to say the thing and it gives me that option, perfect. You got you got what I wanted to say. <laughs> Like, it doesn't ruin my my oddness of wanting to say the thing that uh, makes sense to whatever it is. Counseling centers like coffee shops? Odd metaphor. Hmm. I guess. Depends. Like, I feel like this is an agency that's probably, like, franchised in a weird way. Or is trying to, trying to feel like it's franchised, I guess. Ray leads me to, into one of the counseling rooms. Oh. And here's where the magic happens, in these little rooms. Very isolated, sort of, based on this angle of the room, I guess. A little bit claustrophobic, slightly. You'll get your assignments from the Eliza app on your phone. Oh, one thing to note, it's always a good idea to double-check the headset to make sure it's working properly before you dive in. Headset? So am I talking to somebody and not actually looking at them? So is this, like, the game about therapy through COVID situations, maybe? I don't know, it's, it, it kind of feels like it, or s safe distances. We've had some quality control issues lately. Makes sense, people probably got too obsessed with their therapist or their therapy, I guess. After that, all you need to do is initiate the session and follow the instructions. Make sense so far? Any questions for me? Oh, I get to ask. Seems simple enough, I guess. Seems simple enough. Yeah, it's really foolproof. 
Before I go, just a few reminders of things we covered in orientation. No deviating from the script that Eliza gives you. Oh. No checking your smartphone or anything else that would take your attention away from the client during the session. Mm-hmm. Yes, I understand. Ray stops for a moment and looks me over. It looks like you're dressed acceptably as well. Nothing snazzy, but it'll do. You wouldn't believe the outfits some people come in here wearing. I can't imagine. Either. Okay, let me double check to make sure you're all set up in the system. I can't imagine how they would dress in this capacity. I guess I would say Ray is the closest to what some ladies would wear, I guess. For dudes, I guess we're just wearing, like, it's either just this kind of thing where we're wearing a t-shirt and jeans or just a, a, a authentic suit. But it's like, for ladies, I don't know. Like, I don't I don't know what to expect, honestly. I don't even have any expectations. Shouldn't be having any Ray takes out her phone and swipes a few times. Yep, looks like you're all good to go. Okay, ready to start your first counseling session as an Eliza proxy? I guess. I'm still not sure I understand. Sure. Sure. Don't worry, there's basically nothing you can do to mess it up. Really? You just follow the prompts. It's a really impressive system. If I look at freaking papers, please, this is like, just... You could mess it up. <laughs> if you want, have a look around the counseling office first. Get comfortable. Will I'll check in with you afterward. Will we get to see any of the co-workers? I wonder. Oh, we get actually... Okay, we get to... to oh, Jesus Christ. Well, we actually get to see stuff around. Coffee! Do I want coffee? Actually, I think I'll skip. I mean, Washington State's well known for their coffee. They like coffee a lot. I appreciate the coffee culture there, because I also drink a lot of coffee in every now and then. I hope spring comes soon. At least the days are getting longer now. It's funny because, yeah, I've been to Washington State for school all year round almost, uh, minus the winter breaks and the summer breaks, but I feel like spring and fall look almost identical almost, because there's always a lot of rain, or just... A little bit more heat every now and then but just like always rain <laughs> cloudy and rainy which i love as, as i mentioned the weather's there's pretty mellow to some capacity i guess so there are dozens of these locations already skanda is putting some serious investment into this hmm. makes sense all right let's check the phone proxy welcome dear evelyn Ishino Aubrey. I'm guessing Ishino is like her middle name, maybe, or something like that, or her father's name or mother's name. Um, so it's like a mix between both parents' names. So she's half Japanese and probably white, potentially, because of the fact that the two names are kind of like resemblance of different cultures, I guess. Thanks. Thank you for signing up as an Eli Eliza proxy. Eliza is a rapidly growing counseling service driven by the world's most advanced AI. As a proxy, you serve as a personal touch that allows our clients to hear what they need to hear from a real human being, not a robot or virtual avatar like our, our competitors. I wonder who their competitors are. This is the official Eliza app for proxies. In it, you can view important messages from Skanda, your session history, and your current level and badges. Oh, okay. Enjoy your experience helping people help themselves with Eliza. Proxy Coordination Center, Skanda Inc. Please do not reply to this message. It is sent from an unmonitored email address for general inquiries or the request support for Eliza proxy account. Visit the scan, scan to support message uh, portals. All uh, as a, or important stuck, stick to the script. As Eliza's counseling centers uh, continue to open across the country. I want to take a moment to remind all provider proxies, please avoid deviating from the provided script. I know that is it is tempting to come to conclusions about clients on your own, but Eliza will not work if proxies differ from its judgments. Keep in mind that you are present only in order to provide the human touch to an interaction that is fundamentally between the client and Eliza. Continual violations of this policy may result in reprimand or even termination. Thank you for your attention. Ed. Edwin Park. So it's a Korean person, I guess. Park. Park's a Korean last name, I guess. Alright, cool. 
All right, nothing else. Let's continue. We still haven't seen the premise of the game yet, like the, the mechanic feature of the game, besides the dialogue options and phone stuff. Time to get started. It really looks like the therapist's office in here. Soft lighting, soothing art on the walls. Was this how I imagined it working? I can't remember anymore. The future happened without me. Oh dear, is this the headset? Wow, this is a headset. Okay, so this is the AR headset bootloader. I was gonna say bootlicker for some reason. <laughs> it's a bootloader right here on the on the side here. Uh, type N2 rev, uh, revision 5 boot ROM 114 display driver done begin session set phase introduction 100 the headset activates I'm just reading from like left to right to the here I guess Darren Willows phase introduction heart rate oh so there's like a lot of things you gotta think about when you're going through this okay seems really interesting so far where we're kind of delving into the more emotional and less logical type of therapy in some sense, I guess. A distant looking man shuffles into the room and sits down across from me. Oh, okay, there's actually a person here. Also, they didn't give us the provided script. I just realized that. What is the script that they mentioned not to go off on? Heart rate is 76, so he's normal. That's a normal heart rate. EPR is pretty okay, it looks like, maybe. Emotion is at 1. Respiration is at 17, meaning calm, I'm guessing. Okay. Hello, Darren. Hi. Ooh, this is creepy. It's like a little bit of Black Mirror mixed in with, like... Okay, well, well let's keep going. You found the place okay? Yeah. His heart rate is going up by a little bit every time we ask him a question so far. <laughs> and emotion is at 0 0.4 so far. Hope you didn't get rained on too much. No, it was fine. Also, this makes me think of Her, the movie Her, where it's like a robotic AI talking to the dude. It's been raining a lot, hasn't it? It's supposed to clear up later today. Oh, um, that's good. Little sun once in a while. But... All right. I don't. I don't even know what to say here. It's just. It seems like a. Seems like a. What is it called? Those kind of conversations that just like are meaningless, but yet are just something to just kind of keep the person going. I guess a little bit. Darren, what brings you here today? Well, uh, I just feel empty inside. Hmm. Like there was supposed to be something there, but it's missing. I, I, go, I go to work, I, I do my work, I go home, but there's nothing there. I feel like I'm simulating a person. Like, I, I feel like just hollow and like I'm not even alive. Like a ghost or something. How long have you felt this way? For a long time. Mm. And it comes and goes, but the last two weeks is when it really started to get bad. It just suddenly came over me the way, you know, the way things are going in this world. There's no future for humanity. There's no journey toward anything. Dang, there's like, there's that feeling of like no hope. We're being cruel to each other just to be cruel. The people who run things don't care about anything except themselves and can't stop them. Everyone is driven by greed. Just greed. I can I can kind of feel that. I like how there's like a detector, a sentiment analyzer that just figures out the certain words he says multiple times. And then it's just negative on top of that. So I'm guessing it's because it uses it as a way to tell a part of phase discovery. Okay, we're in a discovery phase. Discovering who he is, I guess. Everyone wants to win. Everyone wants to get rich. And we're all going to die because of it. The damage we're doing to the planet is irreversible. We're destroying everything, and we can't even manage to stop ourselves. 
man, I, I have no choice behind <laughs> what choices I get to say behind this behind this dialogue. It, it's just follow the script. It's sad. But I'm guessing it's giving us a taste of what's linear at first to kind of give us a taste of what we're going to be encountering throughout the whole game, I'm guessing. Like, we're encountering somebody who's really negative uh, due to the fact that, you know, society does kind of, like, bang our heads to the wall, like, multiple times before we realize how bad it is, and it's just... I'd say that I appreciate that this dude literally looks at the outside. Like, he examines the world, and rather just examining himself, he examines the world, but he reflects that world's examination to himself as a personal thing. Psychologically, I guess, or mentally, or emotionally, I guess. So I understand that he has a little, uh, an emotional strain because of the fact that the world doesn't seem right to him and that other people want something that just tears other people apart uh, either through financially or like emotionally or yeah do you remember anything in particular that caused these feelings the state of the world is what's causing these feelings May 10th. I was on a walk the other day. I thought maybe uh, I could clear my head. And all I could see was construction cranes and new development and oceans of money flowing in, distorting everything. Suddenly the whole city felt so, so damaged, so corrupted. I felt like I was an alien in a hostile world, a world that hated me. And we're building it. We're building this hell. We're choosing to build it right here so... So what's the point? Probably overloaded your system with that, huh? <laughs> your machine learning or whatever it is you got going on in there. I like how he assumes that this is a robot 100% when this is actually a human. It's a, it's 50% a human, 50% robot. So it's like, I don't know. This guy ain't this guy ain't bad, honestly. It's just I understand where he's at. Sometimes I do feel that way. I guess it's like I do think that way sometimes where. The world's always run on money, and money's been kind of what's causing this world to go into turmoil a little bit. Like, if there was not a lot of, like, incentive to, of, of financial incentives, I think we would be a little bit more happier, but... Here we are today, I guess. Alright, anyways. Let's focus on you for the moment. Let's focus on you <coughs> for the moment. Are these feelings you're experiencing affecting your ability to function at work? I haven't been doing a whole lot of work. I just don't understand why I should bother. Why anyone should bother. Nobody in management's noticed yet, but eventually someone will, and I'll get fired. Oh man, dude. His respiration is 17, heart rate is like 76, so he's pretty okay so far. But a lot of negative words so far, so it makes sense that this guy has a lot of pressure on him because of what he's thinking. And how's the thinking about getting fired for that makes you feel? And how does thinking about getting fired for that make you feel? Honestly, I'd feel good about it. They don't deserve me dragging them down. Everyone there is smart and motivated and has a wonderful promising career. You have beautiful, successful people. We moved to a swanky new building, expensive area, fancy restaurants, you know, fancy bars. Interesting. Expensive is negative. <laughs> I like this system where it's just like it's analyzing the keywords that seem negative and positive and it's letting me figure out the moral compass on my own where it's like well it's it's not really moral compass in general but it's like it gives you that sort of vibe that you have the moral compass here to decide how you think here everything is nice everything is nice and I feel terrible Oh, we get the challenge. 102 challenge. You said you believe your coworkers are happy. Yeah. I mean, way more than I am, at least. They're all doing so much better than me. And so he has a... Is it the term inferiority complex, I guess? Like, he feels like he's just incompetent on almost every front, and that he needs to be that way, and he just put himself in that position. I mean, at best, I'd say that I do feel that sometimes when I'm, well, not at, like, work, but, like, at school before. Like, I think maybe high school and then moving into, like, college. 
it feels that way, I think, for me. Like, I just feel like everyone does it better, and everyone is, like, better than me. People deserving success. Like, I think, as a human, seeing a lot of success and focusing on that success, not of our own success, but others, kind of push us in a really bad state. And I think that, personally, Darren needs to stop looking at those successes and just start focusing on himself first before thinking about how those successes affect him personally but we'll see we'll see why do you say that because they just aren't bothered by things the way i am they see what's going on in the world and they just they just share memes about it and laugh and go on doing their jobs the real horror of it doesn't get through to them they still want to achieve their goals they're still happy they're getting promotions and falling in love and getting married and taking these wonderful trips to Japan or Sweden or wherever. Japan! <laughs> Big mountains and expensive food on their timeline. Mm. Would you be happy if you had those things too? I don't know. I don't have them. I don't have anything to be happy about. Look, all I really want, all I want is to understand why. Why this is happening. Why I'm here. Oh God, he has the existential crisis here going and on. There has to be a reason, right? Because otherwise, why do I, why do I exist? Why? This pain, this, uh, this one thing after another, and what's the point? I've been at this point before too. I always ask, I, I, there are down points that make me question this way. Oh, this is getting deep into it. Do really. I have any cause to be hopeful about anything? Look at this world. It look, really, really look and tell me with a straight face that there is. Uh... Okay, Darren. Let's try something. Imagine that things are better for you. What does that look like? What does that look like? I don't know. It looks like knowing that something matters at, at all. But nothing I do will matter. Nothing matters. Not against the face of human indifference. This, this absurdity. Dang, this guy is really deep into it already. Um, give me a quick second. Let me clear my nose. I'm a little bit bothered by it, and it's, like, itching my nose a little bit. So, I'll be right back very quickly. So, all right, I'm back. Sorry about that. <clears throat> I had to clear my nose for a little bit. All right. Are there any other things that come to mind? Like what? I wish I could talk to people. Really talk to people. Have some actual communication. Wait, does he not talk to his coworkers? Why do you just sit on the side and listen in on their life? Get involved, buddy. Like Come right on. now, I wish I could talk to you. To you. You as a human being. Uh, that's a bit suspicious. But I can't. <laughs> You're just following the script that's been given to you. Oh, I see. And his heart rate is going higher. 95 right there. 22 respiration. I'm a little worried now. You're not supposed to say anything on your... Look, I know how this works. It's just a bunch of... AI, machine learning, deep learning, whatever the fuck you're calling it now. Look, I'm desperate and I can't even talk to a real human being. It's funny because we are human. How did it end up like this? It hasn't given us a choice yet to split off from the script, so we're just gonna keep going. Please, try to stay focused. I can't help you if you aren't speaking clearly. No, 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 no. Look, I'm, I'm, I'm done with this. Look, I, I shouldn't even have come. This is, this is making me worse. Why can't you just talk to me as you? Because I'm paid to do what the company wants to do. And if you're expecting something else, why don't you just go out and talk to a real human being? <laughs> this is stupid. This guy is, come on, come on. I understand his own, like, problems, but he's starting to divulge into something that doesn't make sense. Because literally he could go out on his own and just literally find someone to talk to completely and his heart rate is really high up in the roof you the person sitting there i don't want to talk to a machine the person who's sitting in front of me i want her to say something i want that person to say something please anything anything please please this guy is please. really really pushing the script here okay hi darren is that is that really you no not really. Yes, it's me. You're not following the script right now? It is. Oh my god, this guy. Wait, say, say something weird. Say something only a human would say. Darren, I'm going to get in trouble if I deviate from Eliza for too long. 
No, I know, I just... Bruh. Oh, come on! I don't get a choice to say something else in this. Oh, no, I only get to say this. My real name is Evelyn. Yeah. Well, it's, uh... Nice to meet you, Evelyn. I didn't expect you would actually do that. Do that for me. I'm not used to people doing things for me. Okay, Darren. I have some recommendations for you. <laughs> Back to the program, huh? First, I'm going to send a set of breathing exercises for you to do. Oh. Use them when things start to feel like too much. You'll find them in the Skanda Wellness app on your phone. Interesting. Second, I recommend asking your doctor or psychiatrist about anexophen. I'm guessing... Oh, okay. It was... Based on my analysis, this medication might help you feel better. Yeah, she is calming down now at this point. Evelyn. Evelyn, Evelyn, Evelyn. <laughs> That's a nice name. I'm worried because that would eventually probably turn him to an obsessive person to look for the person. I feel like that would be the case of what happens next, is that somebody who is in that desperate state, given that sort of, like, little sliver of, like, feeling of hope, really kind of pushes him to kind of be too obsessed with that, I feel like. I'm just worried for Evelyn now, at this point. I'm a little bit worried, but we'll but see. I'm, I'm, I'm sorry. I... Thank you. Please confirm that you understand the recommendations. Yes, yes, I, I, I did. Thank you. Thank you, Darren. We hope to see you back soon. Yeah, I will. I mean, yeah, yeah, I, I will. Thank you for speaking with Eliza, your personal counseling partner. Goodbye. Yeah, bye. Session complete. Wow, that was the first session too. Okay, so there is a level session. A sort of a badge level thing going on here. So we got to level two, session results. We got zero tips. We got zero stars from the client completed. New client, sympathetic, beginner proxy. So this is like really just the beginning of everything, I guess, where we're just deciding on, or we're just getting the taste of what to expect in the next parts. And I think that the branching path will start coming up as soon as we hit the next uh, point which is to continue, of course. But sadly, I'm going to have to end the episode here. A little bit over 30, or a good chunk of 30 over. But that's fine. That's good because we wanted to kind of get introduced to the game as its features and stuff and, and stuff like that so we can figure out what we're going to be expecting in the next couple of episodes. Because this is, again, not a long series, but I think due to the choices of what you can go through, uh, you can kind of go pretty far, like, replayability-wise, maybe, if there is branching choices. I don't know if there is branching choices, but I'm assuming there is due to uh, where you get to decide what you want to say on the dialogue options when I see it. But who knows? We'll see. We'll see as we go. Um, but thank you guys for watching. Hope you guys in the next episode of our video of Minds, and hope you guys have a great, amazing day. Good night. Or when watching this. This is Eliza so far, and I'm looking forward to some more of the episode and uh, seeing how far this is. I also want to compliment the fact that the voice acting is really well done. Darren has a really convincing uh, voice acting for sure. Um... But otherwise, yeah, I'm looking forward to seeing if we're going to be meeting Darren again or if we'll be meeting more new clients and we get to decide which client to meet with throughout the whole game so far or however far we get. Um, yeah, so otherwise, Roz. Out.